Hello everybody, this is Brayam here, and today I have another command block tutorial for you, and I'm going to be showing you how to make the cookie cutter from the Squid Games. This mini game is very pretty simple to make, but I'm going to show you how to make it anyways. But anyways, before I start this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yes, let's get started on the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is build your shape. It's got to be a square, but the yellow terracotta in the middle... It doesn't matter what shape that is, but it's going to be yellow concrete on the outside and yellow terracotta on the inside. And then after you build your shape, you're going to want to build above it over here um, the shape that you want it to be cut out as. So if the shape is not exactly this, you lose. And in the cracks right here, you're going to want to put barriers just because that's how this system works. The first command you're going to want to do is scoreboard objectives add T dumb. And you could just put this in your chat as well. The next thing you're going to want to do is connect a button to this impulse command and it's going to have those stats. It's going to be tag at p add cookie game. So it gives the closest player a tag. The next one is going to be chain conditional always active zero ticks and it's going to be scoreboard player set at p tag equals cookie game t15. Next one is these stats and then you're tping the closest player with the tag of cookie game right here to this spot facing this way. So it doesn't matter wherever you want them to start, that's where you TP them to. The next one is going to be title at P tag cookie game title go. So that way it just tells them to go. For the next two commands I probably should have set up first but it's the actual cloning. So what you're going to want to do is find the negative coordinates so when you're walking this way in the diagonal both numbers go down into the, towards the negative direction. So this is going to be your first chord, this is going to be your second chord, and then you want to do it in the negative negative direction on the actual playing field as well so then you're going to clone it here so you're going to put that command to clone that circle here into one of these command blocks and then the next one is the triangle and you're going to put it here so it's just a basic clone command the next thing you're going to want to do is do the time thing so you're going to want to put repeat unconditional always active 20 ticks so that way it decreases one second every every second and 20 ticks is equal to one second then it's going to be scoreboard players remove at p tag equals cookie game scores equals t equals one dot dot t one just basically copy that command and you're good the next part about this is the actual dying if you lose so it's going to be repeat unconditional always active zero ticks and it's going to be scoreboard players reset at p tag cookie game scores equals t equals zero t the next one is chain conditional always active and it's going to be tag at p tag cookie game remove cookie game so it removes the person with the cookie game and then the last one is chain conditional always active and kill at p so it kills the closest player to that to this command block the next one to set up with the time command is repeat unconditional always active zero ticks and execute at a tag equals cookie game tilde 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 title raw at s action bar and just copy this um that's how you do it i have another video on how to do the personal stats so this is basically that the next thing you're going to want to do is set up whenever you actually walk on it it replaces the um yellow concrete with the barrier so this is how you set it up repeat unconditional always active zero ticks execute at a tag equals cookie game tilde 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 detect tilde whatever y level the yellow concrete's on tilde concrete 4 which is yellow concrete set block tilde 40 tilde barrier so basically it's detecting for concrete under you and then it's setting that concrete with barrier this next chain is for the actual killing if you cut the actual inside of the cookie so it's going to be repeat unconditional always active zero ticks and then it's going to be execute at a tag equals cookie detect or tilde 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 detect tilde 40 tilde stand hard and clay four so the yellow um thinker terracotta or whatever score of players reset at st so it resets the score of time and then it's going to be chain conditional always active zero ticks um then it's going to be the same thing but we're removing the tag of cookie game just copy this and then this last one is the same thing as the previous one but you just kill kill at s so you kill the person above it and it's going to be chain conditional always active so the next thing we're going to want to do is do the win condition and that is repeat unconditional always active zero ticks and it's going to be test for blocks the negative coordinate of your win condition which i'll show you which one that is real quick in a second and then the positive 
coordinate, and then the final coordinate, which is the one you cloned it to on that. So the wind condition one is going to be this one, the one that you drew up above the normal one, and you're just taking these two. So that's the negative and that's the positive. And back over here, you're going to want to put a comparator coming out of the command block into a repeater into a normal block. And this first command is going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone zero ticks, and it's going to be title at a tag cookie game title you win. So basically, titling you win. This top one is going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone scoreboard players reset at a tag cookie game t. So you're resetting the time for. And then the last one is impulse unconditional needs redstone tag at a remove cookie game. So it basically resets everything by itself once you win. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, and if you really loved it, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. And yeah guys, comment what you want me to build next, and do a tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and this has been Bram, and I'm out! Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable, yeah, ready to go man, lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah, I got a shot at night.